Do you think it works? Hey, someone's coming. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji! We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. What the? Oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them, too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. <laughs> Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mud watching the door sounds about right. <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary, too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out! It's some of your favorite scotch! Ho oh, ho! Oh. Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But... Are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, Theo. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, do you really need me to spell it out? Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? But who goes into what room? Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. 
Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait. What's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right, but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Ah, uh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The Nonary Game is a game where you try to open the number 9 door and escape. The Ambidex Game is just a mini game to play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Mia? Bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that. Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. If I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here! you yelling at what's going on here is she uh, okay C come on quirk then she's murdered Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. 
Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. 
I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero! Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt. But it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all of the electronic doors in this cool warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero, or rather Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her. Just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the AB rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in.
Up here. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Yeah, well... There was something I wanted to check out. This thing. Remember it? Try opening it. Hmm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. Yeah. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Look, there's something on the screen. Astute observation. Hooray! Everybody's finally here! I've been waiting. Bull! Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? Other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O., I need you to shut up. There isn't much time. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff or the game will end before I'm done. Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be, alas, 
and Bio and Quark's enemy will be Tenmi only. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your DP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose an ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP, and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's skin them and stew them with some titers. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets 3 BP, and they're the one who loses 2. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in me three. <gasps> Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? No, well, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then, I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! No! I won't wait and I can't wait! Didn't you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later! Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray.
We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So? Thirty seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Just press the damn button! Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hits zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. What was that, Sigma? Don't play dumb. You chose Ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. No, you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time.
good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Ambedex game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Oh no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. I believed in you and Fi. What happened? No, no! It wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! He told me he'd pick Ally! He... he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit! What? What? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. You want to know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, because I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old bark here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. Yeah, you're lying. I never should have trusted you, Dio. You're a lying jerk. Sure, kid. Keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa, you believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You. That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. 
There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close up. The Abadex gates have closed. Round two of the Abadex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to let the guards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number 9 door. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on! Of course, you could also get stuck just below 9BP, where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth, money and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with 9BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five. Round 100, round 2000, you might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know, can you? Bracelets, then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> no, yes! They do indeed. 
Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 when someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away. The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there is no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! <laughs> Oops! I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten the or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose VP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is! <laughs> Correct, Siggy. Full marks. I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. 
After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Y yeah. I guess so. doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Me too. Mine cyan now. Mine too. Wait. I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! And of course, it's totally random! No rules or anything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you, dummies. <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Um, so... What happens now? 
We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking, and if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections?
Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Well, Alice Clover and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Um, uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fine, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. <laughs> Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh. I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But... I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? No. I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? the suit and take the mask off I see that's excellent news we just need to find whatever it is that goes in there then thank you I feel somewhat relieved I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this wait a minute ago you said that it felt natural well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. 
Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? <laughs> Where do you plan to go? Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Think so? Well, you sure it ain't just all in your head? Why do you want to know? Okay, I guess. I just thought Ten Miyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Ten Miyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Zero. No, I meant I found zero things. I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. but maybe it's for entertainment so rich powerful people can watch yes they're probably off in an opulent theater watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar oh you think so huh so some rich bastards killed her off for kicks what kind of a death is that well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, 
the rabbit would have said something. But what we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. What? Come on. Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co-workers. An organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's... I can't tell you. I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because... It's... Confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Yeah! But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah... You're right. Maybe I should tell you. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. Sorry. Oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, a secret pathway or something. Anything else, then? 
anything out of the ordinary. How about this? This New Year's Eve, then. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? W wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Maybe they kept us on a Soparil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Beats me. I have no idea. Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Didn't make any sense to me though. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Well, actually there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. Well, see for yourself. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. Just read the article. You mean you think we got infected with this Radical Six thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But... Look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical Six are. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Now, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? 
So why would there only be nine of us here? Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Yes, it is. Probably not. That's true. I hope they're all right. Neither have I. Me either. I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Uh, yeah. All right, then. We should hurry. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. What the hell are you doing? That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, whoa, calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee... I wonder... Ugh... You son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. against each other in the next AP game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. 
To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We are going to die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones! Getting so serious about the stupid game! We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No. We don't have time. 30 seconds remain. Until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. Please just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. Right. I'm coming. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. seem to be locked. 
That's unfortunate. It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? It opened. You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. 